Another area with a lot of uh, probably prehistoric artifacts and uh, chipstone and um, and oh right there you see this, this is what's um, known as a uh, Sanawa ceramics pottery Sanawa it's a prehistoric uh, Native Americans of this area so it's a brown stone pottery so that's a little pot and you can see ground stone and a lot of other things around here it's pretty rich in artifacts found a arrowhead back there so I know these guys were all chipping stone too but anyway I just thought I'd show you all this little bit of stuff I've been wondering uh, here's a really good example of how a wild javelina feed you can see how they were digging out the roots in the bottom of this large prickly pear cactus. Yeah. They were moving down there and you can see pieces, but the root is the more nu most nutritious. So that's what they were going after. So once you get down there, you can really have a good feast. And as you can see, there's a couple of large ones around that they probably preferred. Those are javelina eating. This lichen on this Havasup high sandstone boulder. Isn't it just beautiful? Lots of colors and textures. Real beautiful. So anyway, I'm trying to get over the stone and down into that area. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's a beautiful stone. Followed my instincts and went for this rock area. And look what we have here. I don't know what it means, of course, but it's quite extensive. Uh, petroglyphs. Uh, what's interesting is you can see more through a camera sometimes. Really interesting, huh? And this is a Havasupai rock formation. Red rocks. Uh, kind of a really hard sandstone. Um, this is your basic uh, yucca. Uh, you see the long stalks. These ones are kind of dry. They're really good for um, making bows. Really flexible, strong. Great walking sticks. Um, in Navajo, they use the root of this plant and they dry it out. And it's actually a really soapy, sudsy shampoo, uh, like a yucca shampoo. And also, uh, when you start a fire with uh, rubbing sticks, you need a hard wood and a soft wood. And uh, this is a good soft wood to. Um, start your fire with so this and maybe a uh, local juniper would be a great combination to start fire with and um, there you have it some yucca and uh, basket making uh, walking sticks bows arrows uh, shampoo all from this one plant